works are all based on but research three hats before John Bond University. Um, my name is Catherine Smith. I'm a PhD student in Face Lab at Liverpool John Moores. Um, I was approached by Dr. Vicky Gibbon um, last year around this time um, about a project um, involving um, skeletons in the UCT repository um, that were the subject of a restitution initiative. And the families had requested facial reconstructions and she asked whether I was interested in getting involved in the project. Issues of restitution in the South African context are very, very important and I think it has been a long time coming. The general consensus was that the images are perfect, was a word that they used, um, that they almost seemed too real in the sense that how that was expressed was that they expected them to look a little bit more ancient. Um, the, what they said to me was that we didn't expect them to look like someone that we could meet in the street. And that was very powerful. The, the processes that we follow are uh, anatomical standards. Uh, we use a, a digital process, a non-invasive digital process. So most of the time we're dealing with um, CT scans or laser scans. That information can be taken into our 3D computer system. Um, we look at skeletal detail um, around the skull to tell us about facial feature prediction. And in that way we can follow these standards for predicting the muscle structure, the facial features and then eventually the overall face shape. Yeah, for me, I mean, there is nothing that is not exceptional about this project. Obviously, one hopes that this will set a precedent for future work like this, that restitution, although that can come in many forms, um, that people do see the value in depicting the faces of people from the past, that there is something quite powerful about seeing these faces that does engender um, empathy and it does allow you to really connect in quite intangible but powerful ways with people from the past. When all of us got together for the first time to share our respective findings, it was really extraordinary how all of our findings kind of matched up and complemented each other. There wasn't a single thing that stood in contradiction. You know, whether you're talking about the historian or the archaeologist or the, you know, stable isotopes or any of it, it all just kind of, all the puzzle pieces sort of fitted together. And for me, working on these, when I first started, I just had the catalogue numbers from the UCT archives. Now we have names. So, I, you know, it, it makes a huge difference to me to be able to refer to, you know, someone by their name rather than that, you know, that sort of specimization that can often happen um, in that particular way of, you know, science. Yeah, it does feel like this whole project Giving back dignity to individuals. Yeah. You know, an ultimate objective would be that. It's, it would be this restoration of personhood. And personhood obviously is a very multifaceted concept. But if we have a face and a name, and certainly a face, even without the name, um, and we have this really rich biography that we can reconstruct by virtue of all of these different um, kinds of expertise, then I think it all together um, does contribute to this restoration of dignity.